So today we have this uh, forest lipo pack which has one of the cell dead in it and I will show you guys how you can take that dead cell out and make it a 3s lipo. In this case I am making a 2s lipo because I need a pack for my goggles. Okay first identify which one of the cell is dead. It looks like number three cell number three in my lipo is uh, not holding charge. So let's open it up. It's pretty easy to open. All you have to do is just peel all the shrink wraps off. And once you have the battery cells exposed, all the wire exposed, get your soldering iron, make it nice and hot. It can be pretty challenging at the start to take them off, but it's not that hard. You can, you have to use a bit of force to pull the wire off, but don't use it too much force so you can just pull the, the terminal out of the pack. So just be careful here, take it easy, go nice and slow. There we go. We got our first wire off. If you keep the heat on and then pull it slightly, it would come off. The little ones, the balancing wires, they're not really hard to take it out because not that much solder is holding them. So yeah, they're nice and easy. And be really careful, do not short circuit these terminals. It's bad. So when prong side up, first wire will be red wire, then first cell, second cell, third cell, and fourth cell wire. One side in a balancing plug, there is these holes, and the other side, there are these prongs on the top. So if you keep this prong side up, so if it's a 4S LiPo, it will have five wires, red terminal first cell second cell third cell and fourth cell that's how they go if you apply a little bit of fresh solder to the joint it'll make your life really easy Okay, while you're doing this, be really careful. You don't want to short circuit anything because it's really easy to, like, you know, ruin your cells. Sometimes it's easier to leave the middle cell for later on because it's less chances to short circuit with, with any other cell. So that's our dead cell right there, cell number three. Let's check the voltage on our cells real quickly before we, you know, separate them. Be really careful when you're doing this. You can't apply too much force, but yeah, eventually it will come off. Simply cut it with the scissors once you have two cells separate. It's easier to cut with the scissors than trying to separate them with the soldering iron. Make sure you have a good length for the terminals. You don't want to cut it too close to the cell because you later on you have to solder your wires to the terminals. When you're tinning your terminals, sometimes it's not that easy to just tin them. You have to scratch the surface, just make some, just get a knife and then scratch the surface. It'll make it way easier to solder your wire on it. So once we have both side tinned, it's really important to check our polarity and check our joints if they're good. And once you have the polarity worked out, you should mark it and make a new XT60 connector for your battery. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm not using really thick wires for this battery because it's only two cell battery. And plus I'm just going to use this battery for my goggles, which are not that current hungry. So I would not really need really thick wires for this pack. And when you're connecting the balance connector, the red wire from the balance connector gonna go 
to the positive terminal and the second wire from the red will go in between two cells and the final third wire will go to the negative terminal because we are using only two cells so there will be only three wires on our balance connector here in my case i i'm not changing my balance connector itself i'm just plugging only three wires in it it's still a 4s connector right now i don't have any 2s connectors available but later on i will change it for now i'm just keeping 4s connector on it next let's put our battery together so i'm gonna use all the parts whatever came out of the battery foam all this side panel sometimes you do have to resize the foam and stuff because the battery size is smaller now and i'm gonna wrap the battery with some electrical tape i can use a shrink wrap but i don't have any so electric tape it is and make sure when you're wrapping this battery up you wrap it up nice and tight because you don't want this battery to open up on you while you're using it and always make sure to check your battery before you wrap it up all the way around since everything is good with the battery let's wrap it up all the way around And there we go we have a 2s pack for my goggles now and i didn't have to spend any money for the pack for my goggles i'm gonna take these two extra wires out of my battery's balance connector because i don't have any 2s balance connectors so i'm just gonna leave this one on it's still going to be all right because i can still put it on charging and can still connect to my goggles and one of the most important steps to write all the specs from the company label because these specs are very very important for putting your lipo on charging it's very dangerous to charge a lipo with the wrong current wrong voltage so make sure you have all the specs and this is one of the extra cells maybe someday i'm gonna need it so i'm gonna write specs on this one as well okay finally we have our pack on my goggles it's not too heavy it's not too light i would not call it light but it's perfectly fine for my goggles and maybe if you're wondering what is this it's a barrel connector which i converted to barrel to um xt60 so i can just connect my battery straight away into my goggle i don't have to carry another cable with me well thank you very much for watching the video